here with Li Xing Chang, the CEO of ZTE USA. And you've had a big week at the show so far. You've announced eight new smartphones and I think four new tablets, um, some of which are going to the US. So what's the overall strategy with your new device portfolio? So ZTE has been uh, leading the uh, handset uh, vendor you know, in the past few years, particularly during last year, we uh, come out of year for ZT, and particularly in U.S. and North America market. So overall, ZT has grown significantly during 2011. And according to IDC, so our market share increased by 8.9% in Q4 uh, 2011 on a year-over-year -year basis, while the overall uh, handset market worldwide only increased by 6.1%. So we are very close to and uh, rank it as a number five uh, or number four, you know, in terms of the smartphone growth and uh, according to Gunter. So we are number four smartphone suppliers in the world now. And going to this year in the US, we're going to focus on uh, LT devices. We're going to launch a full uh, series of LT devices from a hotspot, a smartphone, and also tablet. And uh, for us, the strategy in the US is primary focus to put uh, the latest technology in the hands of everybody, which means we are going to offer the same feature and the quality as the most uh, priced models. And uh, so we are working very close with all the carriers in the United States. And uh, so we are looking forward in you know, a good year for us in United States in 2012. So ZT is not as well a known brand in the US in particular. Is there anything you're going to do this year in terms of marketing or just to raise your brand awareness there? So yes, that is true. We are still early stage uh, getting to the US market. So we are at the establishment phase of our business plan. So our, we have a branding strategy go along with our business plan in the United States. So. Uh, we divided our branding strategy in three phases in the United States. So phase one is more focused on B2B. We want to position ZT as the best ODM partner for the carriers. Because you know in the United States, most of the uh, handset and sales through carriers. And then with their packaging, different kind of tariff plan, and then you, they subsidize and then sell to the end consumers. So we position ourselves with the best partner for the carrier and we listen to them, we invest the resources and we short the time to market for them. And second phase is more uh, focused, we call it branding strategy called B2B2C, which means you know we were through carriers and then reach out to the end consumers together with carriers. So we are working with uh, carriers uh, different kind of branding and launching activities around the hero products. For example, uh, November last year we launched the WAP with Sprint and Boost Mobile, so which is very successful and become one of the best selling product of Z, uh, ZT product in Sprint portfolio. And uh, we will continue this activity uh, during this uh, uh, from 2011 to 2013. And beyond that, if we can search reach certain market share target in the United States, we will go to the true B2C uh, phase, which is more enhance our branding. So that's direct to consumers, no, no carrier partnerships in that phase? No, we will continue, of course, working with the carrier okay. relationship, but we will, uh, beyond the carriers, we will also target directly to the consumers okay. to position our brand. But that is uh, uh, the phase you know beyond 2014 when we hit certain threshold of market share. Okay and what kind of price points are you looking at for the smartphones in particular? Oh that uh, uh, depends on the different kind of uh, uh, technology and different kind of form factor, different kind of you know, configuration in terms of screen size, memory size, you know dual core, quad core or you know CDMA or UMTS, HSPA Plus, or LTE. So it's a different, you know, uh, well, very. say LTE quad core, one of your flagship smartphones. I, I know you haven't announced pricing, but is there a certain range you're looking to get into? Or no, I think it's still too early to okay. to discuss that. But on another side, you know, 
uh, normally we will not disclose our wholesale price because that is a information confidential information for our customer which is carriers so to the end consumers and you will see that uh, the price to you is a subsidized price right with a different package you know uh, last year we launched the first android smartphone with uh, cricket called score mm -hmm. so it's the best selling product they have and uh, you see on their uh, promotion you know sometimes it's a zero uh, price for any consumer if you port member from other carriers and some um, online price is $29.99 and uh, normal uh, price is $69.99 I see that's the lowest cost Android phone in the US market okay. so we I think we will be able this year we'll be able to provide a uh, different tier of the product entry level you know middle tier uh, better and the best so the, our product will range you from 3.5 inch, 4 inch, 4.3, 4.5, 4.7 inch, and also uh, different kind of technology, including you know CDMA, GSM, 2G, 3G, and also 4G devices. And how do the operating systems come into play there? Is there a strategy for when you use Windows Phone and when you use Android? So majority of the product today in the market is uh, running on the Android operating system. And you know, we cannot license uh, web, uh, uh, iPhone OS you know, for us, right. we, although we love to, but love they to. are <laughs> close the system, right? So, but we do believe a healthy, balanced ecosystem for the operating system is good for, for the industry. That's why we have a balanced view. And as a matter of fact, we are the first and uh, Chinese vendors you know, launched a, a Windows 7 phone with Microsoft. Tanya, you can see one downstairs, and we already launched that you know, in Europe. And I have a sample, and I give my, my teenage daughter, you know, she is a high school student in the United States, and she loved that phone. Mm -hmm. And she liked it um, better than, than uh, Android. And she told me that uh, uh, the only uh, disadvantage uh, you know, is that uh, not much app in the market, you know, for the sure. Windows. But I think it takes time, mm -hmm. and I think it's coming. And she also told me that the UI, uh, the user is experience is more polished than Windows and Android. So that's her opinion, but I just want to share with you, and uh, reflecting ZT uh, will also support Windows Phone. As a matter of fact, uh, we are planning to launch a Windows Phone in the United States within this year. Wonderful. We'll look forward to that. Thank you very much. Thank you.